we were absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of support and the response we got from the community uh, when we released our two blade single bevel it was huge and we appreciate you guys so much in the first 24 hours of the release the number one question we got about the broadhead is why is it only available in right bevel and will we be making a left bevel the answer is no and we have a really good reason for it and i'm going to break it all down for you because there seems to be a lot of confusion in the community about this topic regarding arrow clocking regarding left versus right helical and the left and right bevel so i'm going to break it all down for you so there's something we need to talk about called arrow clocking. And what arrow clocking is, is shooting a bare shaft out of your bow at a very close range and figuring out which way your arrow naturally turns when it comes off your string. Most bows, just due to the way that the serving is applied, will slightly rotate your arrow left or clock your arrow to the left. Some bows will clock your arrow to the right. It completely comes down to the direction in which your serving was applied. It's really not a big deal, but it's being made into a really big deal. So I wanna clarify what all of this is about. So the idea is that if your arrow clocks left naturally out of your bow, then you should put your veins on with a left helical to help continue that rotation and in turn you'll get better arrow flight. And in theory, I 100% agree with this. You would then pair this with a left bevel to continue that counterclockwise rotation with the single bevel through the target. And in a perfect world, that makes sense. And I 100% agree that in theory, it makes sense to fletch your arrows with a helical that matches whichever way your arrow clocks naturally out of your bow. There is a big problem with counterclockwise rotation in bow hunting, and that is, if I hold this broadhead perfectly still and rotate my arrow counterclockwise as it would with a left helical, what happens? The broadhead unscrews. I've got to pause here and mention that I would never suggest that a broadhead could completely unscrew itself from an arrow in an animal like this. But the broadhead absolutely can come loose, which takes away energy and takes away structural integrity of that front end of your arrow going through the animal, and we don't want that. That's a big problem. So for that reason, we only make the right bevel because when the arrow is rotating clockwise by way of the veins and by way of the single bevel, there is no possibility of that broadhead coming loose or unscrewing at all as the arrow makes its way through the target. So for that reason, we want everybody to be shooting right helicals for bow hunting and be shooting a right bevel broadhead and we will not be making a left bevel. Now this brings up a lot of questions and a lot of heated points that I've had to talk about a lot over the last 24 hours. So I'm gonna address some of these frequently asked questions right now. So the first one and the biggest one is if your arrow is naturally clocking left, will it hurt your arrow flight to put a right helical on your veins and fight the natural left rotation that your bow wants to do to your arrow? The answer is no. It will not impact your arrow flight enough that we will be able to tell. I don't believe any of us are good enough archers that that will actually make a difference in our shooting. In theory, yes, it will. But as with so many of these things in archery, I think there's a lot bigger things we need to be worried about, such as our form, our setup, spine matching is a huge thing that everyone's so worried about this whole arrow clocking thing, well, meanwhile, you're not shooting spine matched arrows. There's so much of this out there that I do not think it's a big deal. And here's my reason for this as well. A bear shaft moves basically no air as it comes off the bow. And for this reason, I don't shoot bear shafts ever. I skip bear shaft tuning, I go straight to paper tuning with veins because I'm never shooting a bear shaft at an animal. And a bear shaft reacts differently off the bow than a fletched arrow will. These veins move a lot of air. They create a lot of drag. When your arrow is coming off your bow, while it's coming to rest, before the knock has even popped off the string, if you have a right helical on your veins, but your arrow naturally wants to clock left, there's so much air being moved by your veins that it's already negating the effect of that clocking. This arrow clocking thing we talk about is happening on such a fine scale that it's incredibly easy for the veins to take over, and they do take over. Whichever direction you fletch your veins is going to be the direction that your arrows spin, regardless of clocking. The veins will win every time. The next question we've been getting is, what if we go all left? What if my bow is clocking, my arrow is left, I use a left bevel and I fletch with a left helical. This is not a bad option, but again, what's gonna happen when you hit that target is everything's rotating to the left, but what happens when things on an arrow rotate to the left? Your broadhead is going to face resistance in that target, and it's gonna face a different amount of resistance than your arrow as it moves through an animal. And there is the potential for this to even loosen a little bit, which is gonna suck some of the energy out of the arrow, and that's not good. We know that clocking makes such a little difference, if any, in the real world accuracy of your shooting, so why wouldn't we do a right helical, a right 
right bevel and let that arrow go through the animal in the way that there's no chance of that broadhead loosening at all and losing any energy. Another thing that I've heard in the last few days is, well, my arrows truly do fly better with a left helical out of my right-handed bow or vice versa. If you are truly seeing better flight out of your bow with one helical than the other, there's a lot of things to look at here. But the biggest thing is probably your knock fit. If your arrow is clocking to the left, for example, so much with a bear shaft that a right helical actually causes instability in the arrow as it comes off the bow, you probably have knock fit that is too tight. And having too tight a knock fit is an issue for more reasons than just this. Your arrow is not going to be able to come off the string consistently and without movement and your downrange accuracy is going to suffer. So if you have too tight a knock fit, you need to worry about that before you worry about this whole clocking thing. And the last thing that I want to address is, well, what if we made an insert that was threaded to the left? and then broadheads that were threaded to the left so that you could shoot your bow which clocks your arrows to the left and everything would work perfectly. Well, in a perfect world, I guess we could do that, but it's kind of the same thing that happened with Deep Six. The Deep Six started getting phased out of the market because it just ruined the compatibility of archery components across brands and it's been mostly phased out. And the same thing would happen if we started introducing a left threaded insert or left threaded broadheads. It just doesn't quite make sense. The easier solution, if you're really worried about this whole clocking thing, would be to learn how to change your center serving yourself. It's not that hard. You don't even need a bow press to do it. If you're really worried about this clocking thing, the best thing you can do is remove your center serving and redo it yourself so that you, now your arrows will be clocking to the right. Use a right helical, a right bevel broadhead, and you're never gonna face that whole issue of fighting the way in which the broadhead wants to be threaded into the arrow. We will not be making a left bevel broadhead, and this is exactly why, and we really believe in this reason. And if it really made that much of a difference, I believe there would be engineers and manufacturers out there creating these left thread broadheads and left threaded inserts. But it's just not happening because there's an easier solution if you're really worried about it, and that is change your center serving, and it's just not worth worrying about because your veins are gonna overpower anything that that slight angle on your center serving is gonna do to your arrow. It's just not worth the argument I'm seeing out there. So that's my thoughts on it. If you disagree with me, that's totally fine. I still wanna hear your thoughts. I love talking about this stuff. I appreciate you guys hearing me out, and I can't wait to see the pictures start to roll in this season of you guys shooting stuff with our new single bevel.